Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife. And today we're going on a drive around La Rina, Puerto de Santiago, up near Los Quijantes, especially for Joanna. Thumbs up if you're watching. And uh, we're going to start at Mercadona, go around the village, down to the port, and finish up at Las Rosas. And uh, we'll see you anon. Welcome to another drive around. This is Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. And we're at the top of the roundabout by La Arena, Puerto de Santiago, just down the coast from Los Gigantes. So this is where the camera died. And so I started again in the car park of uh, Mercadona. This is going to be an epic journey from Mercadona down to the coast, down to the little port, and up to Ono de las Rosas. A beautiful complex overlooking Los Quejantes at the edge. A Puerto de Santiago. Mercadona is uh, one of the biggest supermarket chains on the island and this is the newly refurbished Los Gigantes version. Not as crowded as the one in Adeji and not as pokey as the one down in San Eugenio. So I was doing something new with my GoPro, I was trying to control it from, my, from the car, from my iPhone and it just kept losing connection and then stopping the recording for some reason. So we're coming down now towards the top end. And then it'll cut out when we get to the corner here. And then it'll start again just after the hotel. just past the Hotel Landemar, Costa Los Quijantes. Massive hotel, oh, like three, three levels. So if we can get it in gear, we can start again. Off we go. Sports Centre on the left. And a big football field on the right, you can't see it, but uh, you know, you get to see the lights. We're going to turn left at this uh, roundabout. And this is the other Hotel Landemar, this is the Playa de la Arena. Windy road now. Left and right going down the hill towards the beach. Chica con esa virtud 
as you can see it's uh, quite a hilly area as we are a, a volcano don't forget everything's very quiet though so we're coming to the main drag now right in front of you is the beach it's actually the beginning of the beach and the beach is to the left of us now on the right there's like a another hotel i don't know what it's called though. we'll see it on the way back so here we are on the main drag beach on the right on the left you got the shops and the restaurants the village does go a bit further but uh, most of the touristy areas are here uh, there are some restaurants and stuff past where we're going to turn around here now how do you like the music that one guy singing that gives you a nice view of Los Gigantes there on the left some uh, apartments for sale on the right here as well anybody looking to buy you will see my mate Andy Ward he's the admin of I Love Tenery Forum on Facebook and you can get him at Tenerife what is it called I'll put a link in the description So we're going through the residential part now, but we're coming down to the next sort of beachy type area. This is more stones and paths, but it's got a massive square down the bottom with a cafe in it and uh, probably used for fiestas and markets, but pretty empty at the moment here on the left. Then we're going to go up to uh, into the little town there. La Arena. Just passing on the right, the apart hotel Dragos del Sur. So these streets are a little bit narrow. You don't want to meet a bus on these. We're actually going to go down towards the port now. This is the beginning of Puerto de Santiago. It's got a little church at the bottom as well called Emita Virgin or Virgen del Carmen. This guy gets a shock now. Oh my God, a car on a road. I wasn't going fast, and I wouldn't have got his dog. So they're doing a bit of work on it. It's that little building right in front of you. And here we are, nice little secluded beach. Every time I've been down here, there's been only just one or two families, but it looks like a great place gets deep very quickly as well so it's great for swimming oh there he is bobbing in to see if it's still recording and it was well he didn't shake his fist so Maybe he's just shocked. Now if you look up, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but the road above it is on stilts. Which we're gonna go on in a minute. So that was Playa de Santiago. You don't wanna miss meet a car coming the other way this way. Bus 
horses don't come down here. But they do come around the corner pretty fast. Oh look, there is one. Bang, wrong side of the road. Get out before he gets me. Oh, look at this on the right. Fish sticking out the wall. That's cool. So we're coming up this stilts road. Road on stilts. Playa de Santiago on the left. And we're coming up now to Puerto Santiago. I don't know where it starts and where it ends, but uh, La Arena, Puerto Santiago and Los Gigantes basically just melt into each other. Great resort. Buses every 20 minutes into the Las Americas and Los Cristianos. There's an express bus, the 477, or you can get the 473, which goes around all the little villages. Great day out. 477 to Los Gigantes and 473 back, getting off at each little village, having a drink, having a walk round. Take you all day to get back to the Las Americas. And there's the Lidl. And the Marquez, I think uh, this is this hotel is. I actually did uh, a magic show there for Halloween one, one year. George at the top there, that's where we're going to finish because just behind there is Ana Las Rosas and I think I've shown this one before but uh, this complex on the left was one of the places that was shortlisted for where we were going to live but it was 800 for a three bedroom apartment and the two bedroom wasn't available at the bottom there was uh, shops and supermarkets and everything and everything closed way before Covid so I'm glad we didn't actually come here. There's a massive hotel on the corner there. The Tamaimo Tropical, or trop no, Tamaimo Tropical. And the one in front of us is the Bacalo. And if those of you remember, that was our first Mystery Monday where Christina and I went for a coffee in the Barcelo. I'll link that in the corner up at the top there. So this is Puerto de Santiago. Um, one of these days I'll get out and do a coastal walk there because they've redone it now. Uh, you can get down to it on the right here. You go down to the coastal walk. That's where these guys are going now. Don't know why they couldn't use the uh, zebra crossing two meters further. And it goes from the Playa de Santiago over the port all the way up to where we just came down the hill there and beyond. So a lovely walk. I don't think you can get up with the wheelchair at the end though. I know they were redoing it, but I think it's all steps. So this is the complex we were going to move to again. And you can see the supermarket on the right has closed down since years. And I think the only shop open is a beer shop and Lotto. So <laughs> that says a lot about the area, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, so the Maritime Walkway comes up here now on the left, and uh, that's new. And then here, they've cut through, so you can go to the bottom end of Las Rosas from there now. You didn't used to be able to. You had to walk all the way up here and go back round, so that's, a, that's new. So we're going to whip in left here, and if my memory serves me correctly, there's a Formula One car coming the other way. Well, not as fast as he was going. Got a bit of a shock. So these are nice apartments and hotels in this area. As I say, close to Lidl, there's also a fish and chip shop and a pie shop just over the road where I didn't go but I've been there before so I'll see if I can dig out that one and uh, show you that one as well if I can find it it'll be in the corner at the top okay this is uh, Las Rosas unfortunately it's closed 
and I couldn't get into the bar. Uh, apparently there's some great views there. I did go around the back, but uh, I felt like it was in, invading. So uh, you'll see a little bit of it anyway. And this is the George. It's been open for about a year. Well, under this management for about a year. And apparently it's the it's the grandson of the owners is called George, so they called it the George. No, 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 no. Yes, que se te da. Elir gente como él. No como yo para serte fiel. Yo soy sincero. Come on, get out the car, Tim. Baby, acuérdate. Que en esos días fríos te serví de abrigo. Me mataste por dentro tú diciéndome. Mejor amigo, mejor amigo. Cuando lo contestaba, baby, acuérdate. Que yo sé que tu lágrima llora. I'm probably looking at my phone at the moment. What I should do is just cut this out, but I think it's a nice view of a tree. And we can watch the people in the background playing tennis. And listen to me pontificating on my microphone. Thirty, love. New balls, please. Oh, somebody's getting out. Oh, here he goes. What's he got in his hand? Oh, he's got the camera. Oh, that's a cinematic view, isn't it? What, you forgot your keys? Silly idiot. As I used to say. Well, let's see if we can go and find a little bit of view from Las Rosas without getting looked at funnily. As I say, this is a great complex, and if you've never seen it before, um, it might be worth checking out. These floors are apt to be uh, plagued with condensation. And also people coming from the pool down there. So that's why they got all the wet things up. But evenings when the sun goes down, the whole the whole floor gets wet. So you can go left there, back down, and there's another two or three layers or levels. We're going to turn right and see if we can get to the bar this way. But if it's not open, I'm not going to stay. Well, the views look fantastic. Oh, there we go. Cinematic again. Should do some slow motion. That's enough of that. There we go. And I got in here and everybody looked at me. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm not going to point a camera in the faces. But I'll do a quick sweep. So there's the bar. And if you can imagine, that view is fantastic. Sorry that was so fast there, by the way. Podrán robarme tu presencia, pero nunca lo que siento por ti, baby, aunque sin tu ausencia. Son errores de la vida. Do you prefer music with lyrics or without lyrics? Con la que sufrí, otro hombre le servía. Porque no sé si fueron los besos, pero sé que algo pasa. I like the beats of these. Back up to the car park. See, this is wheelchair friendly. Christina wasn't with me though today. 
so they do uh, English food and tapas and they got live music and entertainment Sunday afternoons 2 till 5 which is pretty cool not so much in the evenings he said oh yeah gotta wash your hands gotta wash your hands really show off so this is a, a bit of a view of uh, Puerto Santiago Not much there though There's a stage down there But I don't know whether they're using it or not As you can see all the tables are well distanced So good for that And that's the end I'm afraid but don't go away, because it's a little bit later on. Well, here we go. This was uh, Las Rosas. It was closed, I'm afraid. So I'm over at the George. And I hope you enjoyed the little drive around there. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for notifications. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. So you're back on my balcony now. The sun's going down. I'm going to do cheese, onion, tomato on toast for tea. And uh, I might even show you that later. Not in this video, though. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for notifications. I know you, we keep saying this, but... You know, repetition is the key. We love you all, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.